Good afternoon guys, welcome to a new weekly vlog, my name is Bella, I have this January blues, I just feel a bit like, what do I do with my life right now, you know? The lighting is absolutely fantastic, but <laughs> the sun is literally in my eyes. The weather looks beautiful, but it's definitely way too cold to go outside, so I'm back in my robe from the last video, um, it's a new week. Uh, a new weekend it's friday today and this week has just felt like very meh but it's only because i have so much free time i don't really want to just go out and about i kind of want to be productive with my time yeah it's like working out um that helps but other than that like the rest of my day what am i doing you know it's giving like i feel like a housewife with no kids so it's not even like i have a priority or someone to look after and i can have lazy days and stuff but the lady days get to a point where it's like okay bitch what, what are we doing what are we actually doing so um yeah i'm trying to i don't know make some, make some things happen look how bright that room was my bedroom lighting is fantastic let me position you guys somewhere whilst i put this stuff into the dishwasher. So yeah, I was speaking with my friend on the phone and I was like, I have the January blues. And then I was just telling her why I have the January blues. And I just basically just figured out that like, I don't really know what to do with myself right now. Um, everyone's gone back to work and stuff. And work for me is like really, really slow. And because it's December towards the end of the month, it's really, really jam packed. Um, it's like, I have literally zero time to vlog. But now, it's like, I have all the time, but it's like, what am I even doing? I'm not even doing anything. But I know you guys would literally watch me watch paint dry, you know? We'll have a fun time. I'll talk your ears off like I enjoy doing. But yeah, I'm just like, I don't, I don't really know what to do. I've even organised my um, closets, organised my wardrobe, got rid of some clothes. So it's like, I'm doing things. But yeah, I guess I'm just not used to... Well, I haven't been used to not having really anything on my to-do list and just kind of having time to make room for what I want. But now that it's here and I've been like, oh, I want some free time, some free time, a break and stuff like this. It's like, okay, you have it. <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I've been wedding planning. I've also been looking at um, houses. You know what? I'm going to take you guys maybe... Maybe not show you guys the place I'm doing, but I'm, I'm viewing at houses because I do not plan on staying here when my um, lease ends. I'm going to be moving out. So I'm looking for places. So that's what's on been on my agenda. But yeah, I, because I, everything is still like, I'm just looking, I'm just asking questions and nothing's been set in stone. I'm like, yeah. Like guys, I have no venue, I have no wedding dress yet, I have no decor, like nothing's been set in stone. There's been things where I were close to, close to seeing and it's like, oh, okay. And I've had to think about it and I've gone to view the place and I'm just like, mm, not in love, <laughs> not in love. So back to the drawing board. So I'm like there, but I recently got some bridal shoes. I don't know if they're gonna come this week, weekend, but I bought some bridal shoes. That's all I have in terms of wedding planning. I have bridal shoes. No dress, no venue, um, not even like discussions for things, but the only thing I have to show are my bridal shoes. But they're not here yet. And then basically they were on sale. So I'd seen them. I'll screenshot them here. They're the Amina Mawadi watch shoe because I screenshot them because I really like them. It's that really funny for me to say this because I said I was going to stop buying Amina Mawadi because the quality is not that great. They're not that great of a shoe in terms of quality. But that's that, that PVC uh, material. And it, just run away from that material. It's not the best. They are the Camellia Crystal Embellished Leather Slingback Pumps. They're these. I just thought they were so stunning. Such a stunning shoe. But not for £930. And Classless, who is a um, a personal shopper and source, she does personal shopping and sourcing. She had them on her stories, like she, she does like sales on her stories, uh, for them for six hundred and thirty. And now you know what? They're not. That's not the. Like, it's a. It's a good bargain, but the price is still high. You know. 
But because I had those screenshotted for two months and I had them in my eye, I was like, oh my gosh. And my friend sent them to me. My friend Tiffany sent them to me and I was just like, oh, I'm obsessed. She was like, they're really nice. I was like, yes, I've had them screenshotted for ages. So I got them. So yeah, I told Ade, Ade was just like, that's not impressive. <laughs> But, you know, we're close with some venues. I have, I have no wedding planner right now because I, I really don't need one. I have all the free time in the world to like, look at venues and hunt and source things. And I asked like one place to like quote me. I hate these like with containers. I need to throw them away. I genuinely hate them. This type of Tupperware, no. Yes, I, I asked like one place to quote me and they just quoted me a ridiculous price. Like, first of all, Weddings are a scam. Like, weddings are a scam. There was one venue, because obviously we have to do a traditional Burundian dowry slash Nigerian wedding. And um, one venue for 12 hours for the property. This is just a dry hire, which means they offer nothing but the venue, really. And, like, kitchen facilities and tables and chairs. And they quoted me 25000 25,000, please guys. <sighs> for 12 hours, 12 to 12. Uh, maybe maybe that's an okay price for some of you guys watching, but that's not an okay price for me. I feel that much. A house, money that could go towards a house deposit for 12 hours. I'm telling you, eloping just sounds better than that because what? And mind you, the venue ain't that great. It's not that great. And don't get me started on like the venues are are actually really nice. Honestly, my favorite, favorite, favorite venue. I give it like it was a good nine out of ten about everything I wanted. They said starting price starts from seventy five thousand. I just closed that email. I didn't even get back to them. <laughs> Because what's going on here? I say all that to say, vendors and stuff, all of that, anyone involved with wedding, hit me up. Because, <sighs> this stuff is crazy. And I don't want to be in over my head as well. <coughs> Sorry, I made the spiciest stew. <laughs> Sorry, the other day for Abby and I. And if Ade says something is spicy, it's spicy. So yeah, he was like, oh, this is spicy. I was like, yeah, I could barely finish it. Thank God Ade has, he loves spicy food. So he just cleaned it out for me and I've just rinsed this pot and I'm just smelling the spices again. Oh. Guys, if I can stay like this for a bit, you guys know me. Mm. Anyway, let me tell you guys about a new podcast I've been listening to. Um, it's new. I literally just started listening to listening to it today. Naya told me about it. It's called Closet Confessions with Sorrel and Candice. You guys must know these girls on um, TikTok. That's how I know of them, and I really, really love both of them. Um, their dynamic is really, really nice. You've got Candice, who's a little bit older. Bit more wise because she has children of her own a family of her own and then you've got um sorrel who's just just so young youthful funny and candace is also very very funny and has a lot of wisdom and advice to give so it's kind of like auntie and niece dynamic even though they're not that far off of, from each other but it's just i don't know i really like that dynamic so i've been listening to them i've listened to their first podcast i'm gonna get through all of them um they're really sweet, so I'll link them down below so you guys can check them out. I'm trying to think. I've got some stuff to do. I really want to film a tipsy talk tonight. Um, and I also want to film like a TikTok hair and um, makeup video. So I'm thinking, how am I going to do that? Um, my hair is so dirty, so I just want to do like a clean bun, show you guys how I do that. And then let me get ready. Let me come back here a bit more cute, a bit more ready to film. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I'm back guys, I've showered. I went quickly to make some quick tuna and sweet corn pasta. I didn't record it because it's literally tuna and sweet corn pasta. <laughs> um, but yeah, 
I've just basically got myself ready so I can have some drinks for my tipsy talk without um, getting too like drunk because I want to be, you know, have a full stomach. Lord, why did I do that? That was really dumb. Okay, I'm just getting ready to set up. I found a way to have a monitor on my iPad whilst I film videos because I've told you guys I film my iPhones, iPhone videos for like TikTok and Reels with a back camera. I can never see myself. So I found a little hack. So I'm really happy. I'll tell you guys about that once I set up. Okay, so what you're going to need is the i mean there might be an easier way to do this if it if there is let me know because um this one is costs you money to do but it's really easy what you're going to do is download an app on your phone called filmic pro so i have it here so you guys can see the icon and then if you have an ipad you're also going to download an app called filmic remote what that will do is you have a remote, so your iPad will be your monitor and your camera will be your, like, your iPhone will be your camera. Yeah. So let me go on the app. Boop, 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 boop. If I go on here, it'll just come up as connect to iPhone, like this. And then through my back camera, you should be able to see me. Which is great so now i can film my videos and make sure i'm in check it's positioned right and everything um my creator girls will know the struggles i'm just really really happy yeah and it's great it's made life a little easier for me i love making my life easier like i say work smart not hard babe work smart not hard so yeah i'm gonna do my hair makeup and then i'm going to film a titty talk and then that's me for today Today I started off a lazy day because I wasn't feeling myself, but I feel like by the end of it, I'm gonna feel a lot better, a lot more tipsy, and yeah, I'm excited. Good afternoon, good evening, my loves. I am done filming. It's so sad, I just filmed a video and I have to like wash off my makeup, but I don't want to. I am obsessed with hearing the fireplace when I'm in bed. It's so comforting, I can't explain it. Back in my robe again. Oh, this one's my brother's, but he ain't come to collect it, so it's mine now. I'm like, I could go to sleep, but it's a bit early, like, damn. Friday night, I really should have, I don't know. Why am I saying I really should have done something? Like I'm really in the mood to even go outside. Did my hair, I don't love it, but it will last because my hair is actually dirty. So I need to wash it on Sunday or Monday. So that's fine. I'll just do it then. I'm not used to being tipsy by myself. The house is so quiet. I think I'm gonna play some scissor because I love me some scissor and I love her newest album, top to bottom. What's your guys' favorite song? My top five, hmm. I mean, Kill Bill, I, I don't care how popular it gets. I love that song. Love language. I love, love language. Um, I love Snooze. I love F to F. I love Open Arms. And yeah, I think those are my five. Smoking on my X pack. How does it go? I love smoking on my X pack. I do. No, this album's really, really good. I love it. I love, 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 love this album. So I'm gonna play this album. And just be in my feels. <sighs> but like, alcohol always enhance feels. Good morning, guys. I hope you guys are well. It's the next day. I am off to the house viewing. Um, me and Ali were meant to be going together, but he double booked himself, so I'm going to meet him there at the property. <coughs> this sounds so grown up. Oh, my days. I am off to go view a property. I'm so excited, though, to actually start the viewing process, because, yeah, I'm ready for a new chapter. So, we are driving right now. Can these people move, please? The light is green. 
No, I can't. I can't stand it when someone takes their time on a green light. We're in London. The lights don't even last long, please. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm on my way. I'm really excited. Um, this this property, I don't think I even like it as much as another one I'm going to be viewing. Hopefully soon. Hopefully next week. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to record houses and homes and all of that stuff. Uh, but I'll tell you guys about it. You know what I mean? We can we can we can just we can just small small exciting stuff. I'm a grown up. I'm an adult. It's so crazy because like when growing up, my timeline, give or take a few years, was always uni, be done, and then settled by like what 25 into my career at 25. And I was being idealistic. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then married with kids like before 30 but um yeah it's going it's going how i want it so far so i'm really grateful obviously some hiccups along the way like hello like probably me ended up having to do uni for four years instead of three because i absolutely flopped my second year um absolutely flopped my second year life 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 and i'll speak to you guys in a bit Mwah, bye Good morning, don't be alarmed by my hair. Even though I did it, it's ruined. But anyway, it's a new week, um, it's Monday. I can hopefully show you a few pieces that I've got recently. And I'm also, I've already, yeah. We're gonna do a little haul. I'm using the Quarterly Premier Crew. This is, this stuff is so good. Quarterly in general, they've really taken over my whole skincare. Look, they've taken over. I love their products. I love working with them. This obviously none of this. This is just an organic video. I'm, I'm not sponsored to say a word, but I love it. This is their serum, and then I go in. I, I leave it really light in the mornings. I've already used the um, Vino Pure. I actually just keep it in the shower because. Um, it's just easy, I, especially if I'm on the go, I just want to kind of do my skincare it's like first in the shower and then I just put all my products on top after. Night Repair Under Eye Cream, love her so much. And then I like to go in with some vitamin C. I've used this up. This is the Glossier Vitamin C Serum. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I just focus on the hydration in the morning and then like the heavier products in the evening. And then I go in with two more things, a face cream and an SPF. Also by quarterly, I'm telling you, for hydration in the winter, this duo unmatched. I'm going to get ready and I'm going to show you guys some of the bits I've got. And then later on today, I'm going on a little... I'm a solo date, you could say, with myself. We're gonna go watch, uh, we're gonna go watch cinema. We're gonna go to the cinema. I'm gonna go to Everyman Cinema, never been, very excited. And then we're gonna go to one of my favorite restaurants, which is Sticks and Sushi after. Going by myself, because why not? And yeah, that will be really, really cute. And I'm back, hair, makeup done, very, very easy, very, very simple, nothing fancy. Um, I realized I didn't actually tell you guys about the house I went to go view, uh, the two houses, because I mentioned I went to one house, but I was more excited to see another house. So we viewed two. Um, they're both a no, but I'll tell you why. The first one was quite low in price. It was a decent price if you were interested and then the rooms were this, like we wanted like a three bedroom, three to four bedrooms and yeah I went to go see it. It was just oh, too small. <laughs> too small for us because Ade works from home, I work from home so we cannot have a house that we're on top of each other from. Oh yeah on top of each other in so that one was a no and it's just no hallway no corridor it just felt like we'd just be in each other's way and they had an ensuite on the and master bedroom which is what we wanted but that was oh it was tiny it was about like maybe the size of this so it was like a toilet sink and then the shower i was like oh it's too cramped it's too cramped so yeah and then the second house which is the house i was really interested in seeing me and Ade were just like um 
literally in the area we're like should we just go and drive to the place and I was like yeah pulled up saw it um there were so many people there because it was for a good price below asking and um we knew that one was going to be a hot ticket that's why I wanted to see it ASAP so it had four bedrooms three bathrooms it was really nice quite spacious downstairs however the master bedroom was just awkwardly shaped the biggest bedroom was awkwardly shaped and the bedrooms downstairs were also awkward in terms of what we wanted to do with it, we have a whole vision. Um, so it was like, oh, the downstairs was lovely. Nice lounge area, nice living room area, nice dining area, nice kitchen, um, three bathrooms, which was really good. But yeah, I just, it didn't hit for me. I even met a subscriber at the viewing. Hey babe, if you're watching. <laughs> Some bits I picked up from Zara and but because of Alice. Let's start with because of Alice, we've actually just got two coats two coats in the same colour but I don't know which one I'd like or maybe I'd like both of them so yeah you guys know I love the converse I'm always buying stuff in them we've got this like beige stone colour it's a stone coat they were having a sale and I was like ooh it's a bit of me so let's try this one on So it's got a button inside, so you button it. I've got a blazer which is similar to this, which is why I like this shape. I like the little shape it gives. <laughs> of course, I would not wear it like this. But this is what it would kind of look like. I mean, I wouldn't really wear any trousers with this. I'd wear boots, for sure. Boots underneath this. I also got it in black, but I got it in a size bigger in black because I plan on wearing that with things underneath, like jackets and stuff. Whereas this one, it's more for my nighttime evening. I'm going out to dinner. I really need to steam this. I will. But um, this is fun. This is grown. I love a nice structured coat. Oh, I like how these... Hang on, let me see it buttoned up. I love this coat, I want to wear it today. This one, okay, I'm going to steam it because I'm wearing her tonight. I'm going to wear her open though. Open, I'm thinking open with jeans and a boot. I just want to look really cute today because I'm going on a date with myself. I have to look cute. Love this coat. Fab. This is my new Jacquemus. What? What's the name of this bag? I'll have it up on the screen. Very, very cute. Very, very cute bag. I got it like last week. Put it online. I got her in a navy colour. I don't really have this kind of colour. Very cute, very pretty. What did I get from here? Put it here. The first thing I got was this, ooh, this bomber. What size I get? Don't tell me I got a small. Okay, medium, good. This bomber, navy. It kind of goes with my bag. I thought it was really cute. Oh, this is such a cute bomber. I could have even gone a size up, actually. Actually, no, this is a fine size. Cute. It's not the warmest. You're going to layer up underneath with this, but... Oh, I think I'm going to wear this today. Oh, okay. I'm going to wear her this today. No, but I'm, it's actually minus five degrees outside, and I'm going to wear a little bomber jacket. Uh. Oh, I got um, a pop-in shirt. Nice oversized shirt, jeans, or a blazer underneath is really nice. Cute, easy, nice, oversized. Perfecto. And then I got some jeans. I just thought these were the cutest jeans ever and I want to wear them tonight. These are so cute. They're like flared at the bottom. Oh, I'm obsessed. Anyway, I also picked up some earrings, two pairs of earrings. A moment for these hoops. Are you playing with me? They're defo giving Shpirelli. Shpirelli, is that how you say it? The brand, the designer brand. Obsessed. These were £15.99. And then I got another pair, which remind me of uh, St. Laurent earrings. These. Silver. Could I? Let me try these on. Now, I'm not wearing this for a date night. Let me relax. Okay, what top am I going to pair? with no i need to actually be realistic i'm so torn whether i should be comfortable i can be comfortable at home let me i'm about to step out <laughs> ah, that is my decision made 
What am I trying to do? No, that, uh, <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put, wear the coat. I'm gonna have to wear the coat. I'm gonna wear the coat and then wear a simple outfit underneath. We'll save this for another day. <laughs> Figured it out. I'm just wearing an Opoly jumpsuit that I absolutely love wearing. Wearing the coat that I wanted to wear. Oh, and the earrings from Zara I just showed you guys. <sighs> love it. And then bag is Gucci. Boots are Kurt Geiger. I'm gonna also wear a scarf. I have a black scarf, where is it? I wish my hair was just like flat so I could wear a beanie. I'd rather wear a beanie. Let me just, ooh, cover the ears, babes. Cover the ears. Ooh, yeah, this is me. Hello, guys. Oh, you guys can't even see me properly, but I am on my way to the cinema. I'm actually really, really early. Um, I might just see because it's going to be in Canary, so I'll see what there is to like do. Or... I'm going to Everyman Cinema. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, I've never been. We shall see. Everyman. It just looks like cozy vibes. I really should have looked online to see if there are any like better, cozier vibes to go to go to um, for cinema. But then again, I don't actually want to sleep. And I'm going to go watch Babylon. Um, it's got Margot Robbie in it. The trailer looks really good. Um, it's also got Brad Pitt. Oh fucking hell, you stupid. Anyway, it's like cussing because the, I was on a bend and the, the roads in the UK are tight. And if you go in a tunnel, they're even tighter. So this big ass car decides to drive in my lane going around a bend. <sighs> I don't know if you guys even saw it, but anyway, sorry for my language. I don't feel like I have road rage though. People are dumb on the roads, but I don't think I have road rage. I really ever beep. Um, I really ever shout. It's usually just talking like a sailor you guys cannot see me i'll speak to you guys when i get to the cinema <laughs> it's so cold and trying to find parking was a struggle and i've literally parked like 10 minutes away part of me wants to even move my car but as soon as you go in it's already four pounds cost of living oh did i miss my tenant i think it's here <laughs> next time I should um, check the time the movie's finishing why is it 11 o'clock I thought I'd have time for sticks and sushi like I was really planning on coming here and it's closed <laughs> I felt like the movie went on for too long but um oh no it's still open but no it's giving very much the closing yeah <sighs> home time back to do this long ass walk that I did to try and get back. Anyway, I'll speak to you guys when I get home. <sighs> oh yes, I didn't tell you guys about the movie yesterday. The movie, um, Babylon, I don't know, I feel like, uh, first of all, it went on too long. Got in there. the movie was f at 7.45, obviously trailers, so let's say 8.15 is when it started. And I left at 11.15, three hours. I'm right there. So, yeah, that's not in my good books. Um, but the movie itself was okay. It's very much, it was based in like the 1920s, so very Gatsby, um, romance, drugs, sex, all of that stuff. Um, let me put off my trainers. Uh, what else? What else? What else? It had a, it had a lot of themes. It had themes very similar to Great Gatsby. Um, so I can't even go into detail because I got I got to put my shoes on and head out the door. Um, yeah, I'm upset. I didn't have to. I didn't get to have my dinner. At least I ate when I was there, but. If I knew I was going to eat dinner, I would have had some more, you know? I would like hot dog. The hot dog's really nice. Popcorn in there is horrid. Don't get it. But yeah, it was a, it was a de decent movie. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. It wasn't great. Groundbreaking wasn't anything that everyone should be running to go see. Margot Robbie's a really good actor. Um, it wasn't striking enough for me. But I'm glad I went and I'm glad I did it by myself. And I'll do it again. Just to a cinema near me because... Oh. 
the way it, how far I parked, I just did not know the area well. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to, did I say gym? I'm not going gym. I'm going to hit workout class, which is basically gym with Naya. Naya's running late as per usual. So I'll catch you guys up when I'm on my way there. Walking out when it's dark like this. Ooh, and cold. Ooh. <laughs> Good afternoon, guys. It's a new day. Where did I leave you guys up? What's the last time I, I filmed? I think it was after the workout session of Naya. It was a great time, did a great workout. I felt amazing. And then nothing else really has gone on. I'm on my way to get my hair done because my hair is foul. I just spat, I'm sorry. Um, my hair is foul underneath. Um, I have this ugly ass hat. I really need to get some hats because this is like the only hat I have. I need like a black one. I need to invest because I need them for bad hair days. But yeah. Nothing, and then my outfit is absolutely atrocious. Oh my gosh, guys. I feel like the January blues have just continued. Why did I have a bit of a meltdown in the shower today? I feel like I'm being open, I'm doing this, and I'm, you know, saying how I feel. And then someone literally like, puts like a mirror to my face and is like, no, you're not as um, vulnerable and open as you want to be. And I I'll never forget someone that told me, um, like told me that I should if I was more vulnerable with my audience I'd get a lot further but I'm like what does that even mean for someone that doesn't um isn't that vulnerable I feel like I am but everyone always says I could I could be more but I'm like guys do you want me to draw blood and a lot of the time it's because I like to talk about things when it's already happened rather than when I'm in the moment because it's overwhelming for me guys overwhelmed is like my middle name so compartmentalizing and suppressing and disassociating is my thing oh that car is really cute um so I feel like I need to go back into therapy I've also ghosted my therapist for like a year and a half a good 18 months I'm gonna message her she's gonna be like wow nice to hear from you because I feel like I need to get to the bottom of some things um I feel like each year has been like a learning somewhat of a learning curve like 2019 um, I graduated and that was me also throwing myself and taking a big risk and working for myself and putting myself out there and pretty much having um no income uh and just depending on hopefully influencing will do well i wanted it to just be a nice starting I, I wasn't expecting too much from it but i i really enjoyed it so that's why i took the risk 2020 um i feel that year i really wanted to work on people pleasing and not trying to people please a lot and i feel like oh lord did i get a test i feel like god always gives me tests each year um yeah move uh <laughs> Yeah, God always gives me tests each year and 2020 I really wanted to work on my people pleasing and just being for myself and not caring too much what other people think. Um, yeah, and then I feel like I've my people pleasing has gotten a lot better. It's definitely gotten a lot better. I'm not like I don't give a fuck about nothing, but I still do. But it's just more moderate moderate yeah my people pleasing before 2020 i'd say was excessive um 2021 sorry there were so many hills i was driving uphill then downhill then uphill but yeah 2021 stepping into myself i wasn't depending on my parents i wasn't depending on oh my um uh ade i wasn't depending on anyone it was very much me 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 so that was a really good year um i learned a lot about myself um i really got to be alone and enjoy that of course i continued it on to 2022 which i think it was a continuation i also think i took things a little slower and learned to be a bit more present um that year because i just felt like the, all the other years was very much living behind a camera and this year was uh, last year was um, just being more present, being more available, being more open um, in my real life. And then now I just feel as though um, <laughs> I don't want to be so like what's it surface, but like it's about realizing things. Like Kylie Jenner was really onto something. It really is about. Um, 
realizing things i feel like i've realized a lot of things that i've been suppressing i don't know why it's all come to the forefront in this month of january maybe that means you know i'm in a transitional period and that by the end of the year it means room for growth so yes um yeah i don't know it's really it's it's really really strange um i can't even describe the way i'm feeling right now Oops, it wasn't even a red light anyway. Uh, yeah, we shall see. I think going back to therapy will be interesting because a lot has ha a lot has happened since I've my therapist is gonna be in for like a shock. I've got so much to update her on. And then she's gonna be like, well, exactly, this is why you're feeling like this because X, Y, and Z. And I'll be like, oh my God, you're so right. So, um, yeah, it should be interesting. Anyway, I'm going to go get my hair done. I'm going to go get a silk press and a nice trim and feel better about myself. Um, and not be, maybe I'll probably feel sad for the rest of the weekend because it is a Friday today, but who knows? At least I let it out. I'm happy I did that. So, yeah, I'll speak to you guys in a second. Bye. sleekest silk press oh my god i love it and i also love the tones in my hair i thought i wanted to just dye it all but i actually don't mind it right now i think i might dye it again this summer because i really love it i've been basically trying to grow out this part of my hair which has been really great because when i first started the bob my hair was like up here it needed to grow and i think it's grown like a good inch which is great. So I'm gonna leave my hair, keep growing out. I haven't, I just got a trim. Um, the back of my hair grows so fast compared to the front. So I'm gonna leave it, just keep getting my trims. And then in the summer, I'm gonna get a nice clean bob. So it'll be the same length all the way around. And then I'll just get trims and I'll just actually grow out my hair because I've been waiting for this to grow out. <sighs> But yeah, I feel a lot better. My moods, my mood has improved. Honestly, I'm thinking I'm gonna go get some McDonald's because I'm hungry, and then I'm gonna go to Ade's house. Um, he's watching a match, so we're gonna, I don't know, I'm just gonna go chill at his, watch some shows, watch some Real Housewives, and chill because it's a Friday and I haven't got anything to do. I've got everything that I needed to get done done. And I'm happy. Um, I was gonna get my nails done. I'll leave that for next week. So yeah, I will speak to you guys when I'm at his maybe, or if not, when I'm home. Hello guys, it is Monday again. I really did like a full weekly vlog. I'm so proud of myself, I haven't done that in a minute. But yeah, it's a new week. What did I get up to from Friday? So Friday I went to Ade's, we chilled, watched the match. Some of my friends came over, we just, just basically chilled. And then Saturday, what did I do Saturday? Saturday, oh, tomorrow Navon came round. Um, once again, chilled again. But I haven't seen the girls in a minute all together. So yeah, we just chilled vibes. We did like some TikTok dances, please. Guys, <laughs> this is just in my drafts and it will stay in my drafts because, yeah. I, yesterday, like when I was with them, I was like, oh my God, no, I'm gonna post it. I was like tipsy, we've been drinking. I was like, oh, I'm gonna post it. It's such a vibe, it's such a cute <laughs> video. And I watched it back so well. I was like, yeah, absolutely not. And they were like, absolutely not. I think if I had posted, they would literally would have killed me. Um, but yeah, that was fun. And then Sunday, I actually went to church. I went to Zib and my friend Mon's church that they go to. Um, they speak highly of it. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna come. So I went to church with them and that was really nice. And then I got up with Zib over lunch. Once again, chilled vibes. And then I came home and then that was it. And then today's Monday and I've been chilling. So yeah, I feel a lot better. Church was really, really good. I really want to incorporate that more, you know, start building my relationship again as well with God and as well as just making the time for him. So that's my plan. Because like I was saying, I was feeling like really lost, not, not lost, a bit like blues, like January blues. And I feel like I've worked towards it. And in fact, 
I have a therapy meeting in the next 30 minutes because I've messaged my therapist and my therapist was like, oh my God, I've been thinking about you. So we're going to have a nice catch up. So I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I'm really happy. And yeah, I'm excited for the new week. I hope you guys have a good week. I will speak to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the video down in the comments of the vlog. Any thoughts, always open to share. Links for everything will be down below and I will speak to you guys soon. Mwah. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>